Hello everyone, in this video, let us talk about uh, taking regular backups in uh, Jira. So I use this uh, Jira instance for my um, evaluation, testing and uh, doing some development. And uh, this Jira, is, Jira instance is actually hosted on uh, a private server where uh, I prefer hosting Jira because I want to access this from uh, anywhere. Uh, I, mean, I might be traveling or I might be uh, not using my uh, laptop and I want uh, this Jira instance to be ready uh, for me to be, you know, for, for, for evaluation purposes. So I have been using it for quite a while, I think a few, few years now, but uh, uh, from time to time I need to do some maintenance and uh, I started talking about doing some maintenance in Jira and uh, uh, I made a video where I also upgraded this instance of Jira to the latest version which is not really the latest now I mean now I believe we have 8.7 I guess so I upgraded this Jira instance to 8.6 but uh, I also promised that I will be covering uh, the topics of uh, Jira server administration doing some uh, maintenance or maybe some kind of an audit on a regular basis and uh, this is also of course part of it taking uh, regular backups or ac actually basically um, you need to make sure that uh, if you're taking regular backups uh, uh, you have of course different ways of taking a regular or taking a regular backup uh, when you install jira uh, let us say you have uh, a production instance or maybe your uh, staging instance of jira you have to, of course, uh, follow some guidelines uh, from Atlassian that uh, the server should have uh, at least minimum re uh, minimum specifications. So, of course, it is a bit uh, difficult in the beginning to identify what configurations you need. But uh, if you have any idea about uh, number of people who will be using your Jira instance uh, and how many projects you want to manage, uh, how many people will be using this uh, instance of Jira maybe in six months, maybe in one year and so on. So taking regular backups is definitely important and uh, you have the option to of course uh, take the backup of the server and also the database where Jira is uh, hosted. But Jira also has its own internal service where uh, it will generate an XML file that will contain all the configurations and uh, your uh, your your actual data like your issues your projects and everything so with the help of that xml file you can actually restore your jira instance and uh, apart from your configurations and your actual data that you have you might also have uh, you will have uh, attachments so there is a directory where uh, all this information is stored so you have a like you have a jira home directory where you will find your attachments and if you take a backup of your Jira instance. So if you go to, let us say, uh, Jira administration, and if you go to system, you have an option to take a backup. So if you scroll down on the left hand side, you will find uh, a section called as import and export. And if you take a look at the backup system, you can actually trigger a backup that you can take right now. Maybe you want to take a backup uh, today. Today is uh, uh, 5th of March if I'm not wrong and you can take a backup and once you take a backup from here from this interface it will basically generate a backup at this moment and it will uh, save this uh, backup file that is nothing but an uh, you know not nothing but an XML file or maybe collection of XML files and those files will be stored in uh, your home directory there is a directory called as uh, export so my current home is uh, slash var slash jira hyphen home to and there is a direct directory called export and uh, now we have of course this xml file that we can use and we can of course restore it so let us say you have to you have to do a restore of this jira instance maybe on a different server you're doing like a migration so you will come to this uh, restore option and you will enter the file name uh, like uh, the, the file name that I just uh, uh, created, the zip file with the timestamp, and uh, you can restore your Jira instance. So this is basically a very simple process, but it is quite important because uh, 
uh, with the help of this XML file, you can uh, restore your Jira instance. And in cases where you, um, I mean, let us say your Jira instance is not like massive, uh, you can definitely use the XML file to restore your instance. Of course, you need to also have your attachments. And uh, the other way is, of course, to set up a backup or copying of your database and also making sure that you're cloning your server or you know they have they have the files the the folder the attachment folder or i would say the whole um you have to basically take a backup of uh, your whole home directory so that you can restore it but this xml backup can also be used now in this video i uh, didn't really want to talk about uh, the the restore and uh, taking backups manually i wanted to talk about uh, a service in Jira that is usually there when you install a new Jira instance and the purpose of these services is to do something on a regular basis. So if you take a look here we have some services like mail queue service and the service that I wanted to talk about today is called backup service. Now this backup service is something that will take a backup of your Jira configurations and it will store it in your export a directory on a regular basis and the schedule is actually defined with the cron expression so if you click on edit you can actually modify this uh, schedule and uh, uh, you can also just leave it as it is maybe if you are happy with the date format or maybe you want a specific date format you can do that and you can define the schedule using this uh, interface you can do it daily and uh, you can uh, when you're doing it daily you can specify the time you can do it days per week maybe you want to take a backup Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. Or you can use a cron expression. So right now, if I take a look at this cron expression, this cron expression is, uh, you can go to the site called cronmaker.com to help you with uh, the evaluation of your cron, or you can generate a cron expression that you can use. Now, if I, if I look at this cron expression, it says that uh, it will take a backup every day, um, twice. So this is something that, uh, we don't really want to do i mean now uh, i was looking at my export directory and uh, i had a lot of files uh, i think uh, for the past two years i didn't bother to clean the directory and i was looking at my server uh, uh, today and i realized that uh, it is consuming a lot of space so i thought it is time to delete those uh, backups those two year old backup files and uh, we actually have uh, two files per day. Now, I don't really want that. I want to maybe take a backup, uh, maybe uh, once every um, Sunday. And uh, I want to take it at maybe uh, nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, of course, uh, it, it, it will ensure that at least we have one backup every week. So we'll roughly have like 50 something files, which is still not really huge. And once you take a back, once you configure the service, I mean, this service is, all, is all already configured. Just take a look at your frequency, your schedule, uh, and uh, modify it accordingly, according to your policies in the company. And also don't keep a backup on the same server. From time to time, set up something on the server itself to maybe move it to a different uh, server. So keep a couple of copies of your backups as a good practice. I mean, I'm not really, uh, I mean, I'm sure your IT guys, they will have uh, some policy. And uh, usually in every company, there is there is some policy about, uh, you know, the backup and uh, the retention policy. But uh, from Jira, you can definitely configure it. And uh, you can also make sure that your, your schedule is in line with your uh, organization policies. And uh, as I mentioned before, set up something like a cron or maybe on your server set up a small script or something do it do it something uh, where you can uh, copy it or move it to a different server so this is something that uh, will really help you because in case your jira crashes it can happen maybe your server or your hard disk on the server maybe there is a problem maybe uh, you have some issues so at least you will have a backup uh, that you can restore. So the reason I wanted to talk about uh, this service today is because I uh, realized that my server is uh, uh, showing me or it was basically indicating that my my hard disk uh, uh, utilization 
is uh, quite a lot and I wanted to clean it up. So I realized that uh, I can delete these unnecessary files because my backup service was taking two backups every day. And uh, this is something that I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.